I like to think every once in a while that I wear the watch appropriate to the day. And I would say moreover, this Cartier, I'm most thoughtful about what the rest of my day is like when I'm wearing this watch. I am doing something that is slightly more elevated. When I'm wearing a suit, when I'm wearing a tuxedo, I immediately gravitate to the Cartier tank. My name is Matt Horanek. I am a editor at Condé Nast Traveler. I also am an author. I wrote uh, a book this year. I have been a photographer and a filmmaker. I wear a bunch of different hats, but I am first and foremost a watch lover. This Cartier is the latest incarnation of the tank that's being produced this year. It's the sweet spot of size. I think it's 33, approximately 33 millimeters, which I like because I don't have a huge wrist. And I like that it's mechanical. I like that I get up and I make that connection with the watch and I wind the watch. There's a lot of round watches in my life. And I think the idea of a rectangle watch is something that should be a part of the arsenal of wristwatches. And there's something about what this watch represents to me in terms of its shape and design and place in kind of timepiece history that I really like. And I love that Cartier has kept true to the design of this thing from its original conception. Sure, there have been, I think, variations over time, but it always goes back to the original design of this watch as close as it could have looked 100 years ago. When I think about what I'm gonna wear for a day where there is a special occasion, I lay that suiting out, pick the shoes, and then I pick the watch. And it's kind of nice when you set this Cartier tank down on your, your black tie ensemble, and it just kind of completes it to me. And you kind of feel like a, the best version of yourself it's a part of that overall feeling of feeling elegant and put together. And a watch can do that. A Cartier tank can do that.